Welcome to Relationship Status. My name's Tommy, I'm your host, and this is where the magic happens. Let's go. So here's the show. We got five singles living under one roof, men and women. They're single and they're ready to mingle. Relationships are gonna start, they're gonna end, but they're all gonna change forever. So here's our mansion in the Hollywood Hills. And by the way, we got cameras everywhere. So let's go. I'll keep you updated. Let's meet the family. It's good to be here. Good, you're thanks, early. Thanks for having me. Yeah, my pleasure. You brought your guitar? I did. You dog, you get in here. Uh -huh. It's like you're scooping it up. <laughs> hey guys. I'm glad you're all here. Everybody's tucked in, you got your bags unpacked, everyone's got their bedroom, right? Good. Now, I just want you to know, the house has got everything you need for the next month. We got food, liquor, plenty of towels, plenty of liquor, lots of lotion, scented and unscented. And I hope you guys enjoy those nice big beds. They're big, big enough for two or three. And I want you all to know that I picked each one of you specifically. You're just perfect for this show, all right? So take it easy, enjoy your meal, and have a great month, okay? Wait, please, stay. Break bread with us. Oh, no, no, see, I'm just nine to five. You guys are here forever. Have a good night. Did he say forever? Yeah. <laughs> to forever! <laughs> Three girls, two guys. Man, I like those eyes. So are you getting into pool later? Oh, I don't know. I'm kind of like an air person, so with water, it's either like all or nothing. There's some real palpable energy between me and Brandon. I don't know what it is. Something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How about you? Uh, I'm fire. <laughs> what would you say you are? I'm anything in between that. So, so like, earth. Yeah, like earth. Mmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, nice and muddy. Oh, I'm air. I'm yogi. I'm mmm, uh, mmm. Yeah, well, fire eats air, bitch. God sent me here for a reason. And I knew that when I met Terry. Her eyeshadow may say Satan, but her smile is all Jesus on the cross. I love guitars. They're so fat like. Jesus loves you, yes he do. Jesus loves us, yes he does. Well, I'd always imagined I'd lose my virginity on my wedding night, lying with my wife underneath my family cross, with Jesus nodding his approval in the corner. But this was pretty blessed too. <laughs> It 
was like it was like we were trying to be like like fire and like air battling but like really it's like when the elements combine sometimes you just have to like close your eyes and like open your heart or <sighs> earth wind and fire So, you guys made it to the end of the month, and you got to know each other pretty well. Could this be true love? I believe so, Tom. It's the good lord that brought us here together. That's wonderful. And Brandon, are you able to choose between these two lovely ladies? I think I have, Tom. I mean, they're both wonderful, but uh, I think I have to choose Joanna. That is... <sighs> Bullshit! No, it's your just mad because you're the fifth wheel. Oh, shut up, Terry. You slept with Brandon too. And you slept with me. And you slept with the sound guy too. <laughs> what? How could you? I like different flavors. Scandalous! But the real scandal is about to start. I want to tell you guys about a man named Bartholomew Bowflix. He was born in 1951. Now, he spent most of his life as a traveling salesman. Between the years of 1984 and 1989, he went to places like Texas, Ohio, Minnesota, California, and even New York City. Now, eventually, he became a crackhead and he went to jail, and he died five years ago today. But he was survived by five illegitimate children. You guys are the bastard kids of Bart Bowflix! <laughs> Relationship status updated. Finding out that we were related. Mm. Finding out my real dad was white. I just don't understand why my biological father would ever choose a substance like crack cocaine and then murder and like not even journal about it. Why God? Why would you do this to me? I gave you everything. I'm just gonna feed.